What's going on my copywriting superstars? Today we're going to learn how to write a VSL which stands for Video Sales Letter. It's so important that you know how to do this because they're the next big thing that every brand is using on all of their landing pages because it's so effective, people love video. So as copywriters, we need to stay up to date with all the best skills. That's why today I'm going to show you step by step how I write VSLs uh, and I'm going to do it in front of you. I'm going to give you an example so that you can learn with me. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you will start off by um, planning ahead your VSL. So I recommend you do this on paper or on an iPad, somewhere where you can write things down, rub them out, cross them off. So if you do this in a notepad, it's not as fun, it doesn't allow as much creativity as it does when you just have pen to paper. So when you're planning a VSL, you have to remember that essentially it's the same thing like when you're writing the copy. The first few sentences of your VSL need to um, grab the attention of, I, I really hate saying that, like grab the attention is such an overused phrase of like, attention grabbing the headlines. But I mean, it needs to just answer two questions. Who is it for and what will it do for them? And both of these questions should help their prospect qualify themselves um, so they basically say okay this is for me and this can help me so let's just write this down number one I hope you can see this is attention right so when I'm done you can screenshot this to make sure that you have like a formula in the future so attention and we will say here who is this for or like is it for me that's what you want to answer and number two how will it benefit me then the second part of your sales uh, video sales letter will be just like it would be in normal copy this is where you connect with the prospect through pain points so let's just say connect and this is where you talk about their current situation the before the problems they're experiencing the things they have tried before um so yeah you're just trying to connect with them through their pain points their fears and etc so um here we'll put pains fears um current situation so once you connect with the reader and you make them say essentially this part is meant to make them say in their head obviously or out loud wow like i this is literally me you know this is literally how i feel so then the third part of this should be about setting up the problem. So we'll talk a little bit about the problem. Now you might be thinking, hold on a minute, but doesn't the pain, doesn't their pain illustrate the problem? No, so this relates more to things that they have already tried or other things that exist out there that are meant to tackle their problems. So um, uh, how could we say that of a, a current solutions solutions things they tried so um how else can I explain this to you so if I was talking to somebody who um wanted to buy a nail file for example um because that's the only thing i saw near me right a nail file we could say to them okay so when you're talking about the pain points you could talk about the nails and how uh you know they want their nails to look beautiful and they want the grooming process to be easy etc 
and then setting up the problem you could talk about how maybe they tried glass files but they've noticed that they don't work as well maybe they tried plastic files and noticed that they always break and then that's how you setting up the problem so you mentioned in all the things they tried and then when you're going into the solution you'll tell them why your nail file is different to anything else they tried and that's number four which is their solution so here you would probably mention the USP of your product uh, and obviously your product, I mean, whatever. So then after you set up their solution, you would go into not the features and benefits, the benefits and features. The reason I say that is because you want, um, you want to approach this by starting with the benefit and then explaining the benefit through a feature as opposed to talking about the feature and explaining it with a benefit always start with the benefit that's more important than the actual feature so once you set up the features and benefits which means that by now um the person should have a very good understanding of what your product is and what it will do for them more than just the main benefit um that you would mention here in the headline but you will give them a range of benefits um so then you can go into a few different things um and here i guess the order will just depend on how you choose to play your cards so what you have to choose from is obviously a, a guarantee so this relates to reducing risk for your customer um, then you also have your offer, so you need to um, tell them exactly what they're getting, how much for and how to get it. You have the pricing part, you have objections, and you have bonuses, and um, the final CTA. So you would probably, well, ideally you would want to sprinkle CTAs throughout the VSL, uh, as in you would mention, you would say an action oriented CTA throughout the video here and there, not too much, but you would sprinkle it in just like you would in a headline, uh, in a in written copy, but also you need to include like a final CTA, which is more motivational and kind of tells that person, oh, that's another thing, scarcity. So you see this VSL includes everything a landing page would include, but is going to be in video format and it's going to be, um, you know, spoken. So it also depends on how the person who presents the VSL um, chooses to kind of um, film the video and get the information across. So like I said, any of these can go in at a in any order. It's just up to you how you um, do that. So now that we have the plan, I mean, you can take a screenshot right now. Now's a good time to do that so that you have uh, actually let me move this across in case you do want to. So my face is not in the way. Now's a good time to take a screenshot just so you have this handy when you're writing a VSL. And now I'm actually going to go into a Word document and I'm going to show you how I would write it and then how it would kind of sound on video. Oh. Okay, so I went ahead and I wrote the first few sentences of the VSL to show you how I would personally um, start uh, the VSL for, well, as an example, let's say I'm writing for a mascara that is a waterproof mascara, but has a different, the USP of the mascara is that it uses different ingredients and it actually lasts. So the audience is obviously women who have tried waterproof and long lasting mascaras, maybe for sports, maybe for um, parties or whatever. And they found that they all end up just crumbling and smudging at the end of the day. And if you're a girl and you've tried mascaras, you no, this happens way too often. It should not be happening. If you advertise something as waterproof, it should actually be waterproof and long lasting. So how I would start the video is I would say in the next two minutes, I'm going to show you how you can have beautiful, long, intense black eyelashes that last up to 12 hours without crumbling, smudging, without having to put fakes on, without having to spend hours washing them off in the evening. So what did I do here? I started off with the benefit and I'm telling to um, I'm telling the person that in two minutes they're going to find. So you see how I'm using the um, 
I'm quantifying things. I'm saying in two minutes, I'm going to show you how you can have, and then I'm talking about the benefits, beautiful, long, intense black eyelashes. So I'm using, um, it's like the principle of three. So beautiful, long, intense black. Um, so when we talk about eyelashes, I mean, this is probably every girl's dream to be, you know, long and beautiful and uh, super black. That's what we, well, not everybody, some, some people like a different color of mascara. But anyway, um, that lasts up to 12 hours. So again, I'm quantifying, I'm saying, okay, 12 hours without crumbling, smudging, without having to p put fakes on and without having to spend hours washing them off in the evening. So first of all, I would actually change that that last at least let's change it to at least 12 hours without crumbling smudging without having to put fakes on without having to spend hours washing them off in the evening so all of this is about the um pain points like i'm already introducing the pain points you know crumbling smudging putting fakes on spending hours in the evening washing them off these are all pain points of people who have tried uh, waterproof mascara and felt disappointed because that's what it did in the end so now let's move on to the second part so in the second part this is all about connecting with the pain points so here i would let you get the presenter to say girl i feel you especially if the audience is aged somewhere between 18 and 30 let's say that's the perfect phrase and then you say you go to a party and an hour in you're looking like kung fu panda's ugly twin the slightest humidity or rain can make your, makes your mascara run down your cheeks, leaving a muddy trail that goes all the way down to your neck. You, yet the biggest mystery is how these mascaras become everything proof when it's time to take them off. You scrub and rub until eventually you give up and go to sleep knowing that in the morning this thing will be all over your silky white pillowcase. So what I've done here is, well, first of all, girl, I feel you is like a personal phrase to kind of connect with the audience and set this informal tone to the video. Then I'm starting off with a situation that the prospect might have found themselves in uh, being at a party and then you go to the bathroom, you think you look amazing and you look in the mirror and you're like, what the hell is this? Why is my mascara everywhere? And then I just added Kung Fu Panda's ugly twin like as a joke and also using like celebrity or popular things inside your copy um, kind of creates this sense of familiarity so if you put something like kung fu panda the matrix whatever then people already know that and they feel more familiar with you by that then i say the slightest humidity or rain so another pain point makes your mascara run down your cheeks leaving a muddy trail that goes all the way down to your neck obviously this is exaggerated but again that's for entertainment purposes um yet the biggest mystery is how these mascaras become everything proof when it's time to take them off so again this is like um exaggerated because now i'm talking about how difficult it is to take them off at night but also you know i'm getting the message across so i'm entertaining and getting my message across and they say you scrub and rub until eventually you give up and go to sleep knowing that in the morning this thing will be all over your silky white pillowcase a lot of women use silk pillowcases for the skin and hair so obviously I'm trying to relate to the prospect here in another way and then you know I'm still being funny and entertaining with the the story of like how someone would be doing this and they say okay I can't be bothered anymore and then they wake up and they have like their lashes printed on the pillowcase um so let's move on to the next part okay so here we're setting up the problem so we've connected with the prospect they by this point they in the connect part they should have been like okay this is exactly what's happening to me so here i'm setting up the problem i'm explaining it so this is like the a prologue to me introducing the product so i'm saying it doesn't matter how much you invest they all end up in the makeup drawer and eventually in the bin so well obviously this would be in the trash if you're talking to an american audience so i'm talking about how you know you you keep spending money on these things and in the end you don't use them they just end up in a drawer with the other 10 um, because you can't use it if it keeps running down your face and then i'm saying turns out that the biggest problem waterproof and long wear mascaras have is that they can't live up to their hype kind of like a tinder date gone wrong so again i'm just being funny and entertaining but i'm saying the biggest problem with waterproof mascaras is that they're not actually waterproof and they say we took them out for testing and found out that they all have one thing in common the same ingredients list okay so here i'm setting up the problem which i'm saying okay these things, they all use the same ingredients. So you understand when I introduce the solution and I say that our product has different ingredients, that may, will automatically make the prospect believe, okay, this is something different. It's something new. It might actually work. So let's go into the solution now.
Okay, so now I went ahead and included the solution and the benefits and features. So the solution, I just went straight in. I said, we hired a team of expert scientists and makeup artists to come up with a new formula and what we created exceeded Oh, so sorry, I added to the problem. I said we looked them up for test. We took them up for testing and found out that they all have one thing in common, the same ingredients. I oh, know I mentioned this. And I said we hired a team of expert scientists and makeup artists to come up with a new formula and what we created exceeded our expectations. Eureka, we have created the perfect mascara. And then it says uh, the benefit is get the lifted Kendall Jenner look thanks to a secret vegan collagen. By the way, I have no idea about mascaras and like makeup ingredients, so I'm just make it, making this up. Then I'm saying, wear it for at least 12 hours without any smudging, crumbling or fading. Our secret patent, patented ingredient takes all the credit for this one. Increase lash length by 20% with our eco-friendly cotton fibers, etc, etc. Now we'll go into the other parts, which I'll just kind of, um, I've told you that the rest of these things would just kind of go in whatever order. So um, I'll just put them all in now and uh, you'll get to see what it looks like. Okay, so I have the rest done. So I started with the USB. So um, I had the benefits and features and then I went on to say, this is the only mascara on the market that has been proven to last at least 12 hours in any climate from the Caribbean islands to the dry Arizona desert. So here I'm kind of uh, talking about the objections that the person might say, well, I live in a really humid climate. That's why none of the mascaras work or I live in a really dry climate and a hot climate, whatever. So I just mentioned that in there. Uh, but also I'm talking about the USB. This is the only mascara on the market that has been proven to last at least 12 hours. And then I say, I include a small CTA which says, so say goodbye to spending ungodly amounts on mascaras that don't work and finally settle for the best. And then I say, uh, I include a bonus. So I say, and if you buy today, you'll receive a 300 millimeter bottle of a vegan formula makeup remover that removes all eye makeup in a flash and moisturizes and nourishes your delicate eye area and eyelashes it's a handful so obviously this needs a lot of editing to be able to actually put it into a vsl but i wanted to show like how i would put it together and then the editing would just um be shortening the sentences making it sound more natural and maybe exchanging a few words for more powerful ones um so yeah those are the bonuses and you see that the bonus, you want the bonus to be something desirable in itself. Um, so the, I talk about how the makeup remover is a vegan formula and it's designed to moisturize your uh, this skin area as well as the eyelashes. So that in itself makes it look like a really good uh, thing to have. And then I say, if you purchase today, you'll only pay $20.99. This is a special offer for the first 1,000 customers. Don't miss out. The price will go up to $13.99 afterwards. So this includes the pricing and the scarcity. And then how do you know it work for you? This is an objection because a lot of us have this innate objection of just being like, no, but it won't work for me because I'm different. So I'm saying we have tried and tested this mascara and thousands of different people and it worked for every single one. But if you're not happy with it for any reason, we'll give you a full refund. Just send us an email um, within 30 days of buying and we'll process it right away and you won't have to send it back either. So this is the guarantee. And then so there's a CTA that says, so go ahead, order the best long lasting mascara that actually does what it promises. And this is literally how you would write a VSL. Um, okay. Okay, listen, it's all good and well learning the skills on YouTube, but it's time that you put your skills into practice. So if you want to learn how to get your first copywriting client in just five days, make sure to go to my copywriting challenge. The link is down below. So click it, go to the page and find out more about it. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it and let me know in the comments below what you thought about this VSL. And I'll see you in the next one.